Single Heroes. Here I'm heading out on Electric Unicycle Stealth Camp. Uh, it's not too far away. It's actually at a local college. Done a couple of stealth camps there before, but this one is actually going to be behind their main sign. It's got like a little angled brick sign. So I'm hoping to be able to sneak in and sleep there for the night. So I will talk to you when I get close. Okay, that is the sign right there. I was waiting for people to go by. I'm actually going to go up and then come back down the sidewalk. You see there's some trees behind. So I'm going to be hiding behind and in the angle that the sign makes. So I guess I'm going to, actually, there's almost nobody around right now. So I'm going on behind. Okay, so I'm in. Kind of, kind of blocks the road there, but not quite. There is a softball field up there, but I don't think they're using that tonight. So I'm thinking here's where I'm going to put my little bivy tent, which I actually haven't used yet. So that'll be fun. And I'm going to get this pack off. I do have some um, camo netting that I'm going to put over the, the unicycle tonight. And maybe right there, just to block the road. I do have to be careful, the sidewalk runs right along the outside here. And sometimes students will walk by, there's a pizza place right up the street that way, and a convenience store. So people may be walking by from time to time. So let me get this pack off, get settled a little bit, and I'll bring you back. There is a street coming out of the college, so I'm back against this wall. Probably should have waited till it was closer to dark, but I really want to get out. I'm hoping that's not too visible. There is some like metal. I think it's been here for a while. It's like a signpost for the trail that runs along the lake nearby. So, but I don't think people are going to be paying too much attention. If they drive by this every day, they're not going to be looking. So, I'm going to sit here for a while and just kind of feel things out. Make sure it's going to be okay. So, there's a really big intersection right over here. The entrance to the college is behind this wall and there's a sidewalk maybe five feet on the other side of this wall so I need, really need to watch the sound in case somebody is walking through there there's also a nice little creek kind of trickling down through here which hopefully nobody comes over to look at that because if they did they would see right through those trees but maybe we'll walk out there in a little bit before it gets dark I'll show you around I'll just look like somebody taking pictures of it but yeah I have a hazy little thing IPA to drink just one 
because I think it would be fun to walk up the street later on to the convenience store and get something else. So it'll get me out walking around a bit instead of just being sitting right in this little corner all night. So, Salancha. I'm just going to wait here a while and then maybe we'll get out and walk around a little bit. Okay, let me see if I can get out. Oh, nope, there's a car coming. Let me see those lights. If I want to get out and kind of walk around, look at this stream, look at the front of the sign, maybe walk up the sidewalk, kind of see what it looks like from up there. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. Okay, yeah, now I'm just looking at the scenery. Yeah, so that's where I am. From this angle, you can see everything, but most people won't see it from that angle. See a softball field there. There's a sign. Let's just walk over to the sidewalk. It's a big roundabout. Creek. So if we walk up the sidewalk a bit here and look back, we'll see whatever somebody driving down the street would see. It's fairly well covered as long as there's nothing brightly colored or any lights in there. I am going to put up some camo netting later, mostly for light. Okay, you can see how close the cars come by there and how close the sidewalk is. And I head back down. So I think if you're driving down, you're going to be paying attention to the intersection coming up and not this little dark corner over here. Hopefully. But now, I need to figure out how to get back in. I guess I'm just going to film like I'm looking around. Definitely from this way it's very blocked. You wouldn't see anything. All right, after this car and time to go. So I found with these camo nettings. Like, once you open them, they become huge and unwieldy to carry. But if you get like a collapsible dry bag, you can really scrunch them back down. Okay, I've got two in here. There's another one there. They're both about six feet by five feet. And you can get them, can't get them back to the way they were when you buy them but you can get them scrunched down quite a bit. Okay, so I just went ahead and put both of them up on that side. All I need is a little bit, just lower section. I think anything taller would be kind of noticeable. Something down near the ground. 
blends in fairly well to ground cover. Oh, crow just flew by. It scared me. I thought somebody was coming in. But the front of the unicycle is covered. I think that's good. That's covered over to those tree limbs. So I'm calling that good. Okay, so I think I'm going to set up my bivy before I go up to the store because pretty much everything I'm leaving down here. And if there's a tent set up, if somebody were to walk over here, they saw that they would just probably be scared and walk away. And plus, I want to do that before it gets too dark. I've only set it up once in my house. So I want to make sure I can do it without any bright lights later because that will definitely give me away. Okay, let me get this set up. Okay, there's people walking down the sidewalk. Okay, I just turned off the camera for a minute. They went by, never stopped, never saw anything, never heard anything. Maybe going up to the pizza place or the store. I don't know. They'll probably be back, coming back by later. But that was a good test. Okay, it's getting dark. But there is my bivy. I only have the rods for the head section. Not worried about my feet. I just want it to not be on my face. And I've got my air mattress and a new down quilt slash hammock. It's only rated for like 40 degrees. It's perfect for nights like this because it's going to be in the upper 50s tonight. But it packs down to pretty much the size of like a bottle of Coke or Pepsi. It's pretty awesome. And I got my little inflatable trackology pillow. So I'm going to seal this up. And it's going to be time to walk up to the store. Okay. Let's try to get out. Unseen. I think we're good. See, I'm going to... Oh, I better go around. And I'm going up to this gas station. Down to the corner. Yeah. Okay, there's my home. Just gotta wait for a break in traffic. There's cars behind me. Not yet. And car coming down. Well, moped coming down. Spittering and sputtering along. Oh, 
guess I'm gonna go beside it. Maybe try to go around once I get past. Can't really get through that. I have to go down and across a little creek. Which is actually right now is good. Okay, I think I can keep just a very low red light once in a while. As long as I keep my face out of view of the road coming down from the college and the light is not shining on the brick behind me far enough out where they could see it coming down the road. So I'll give you a couple of updates here and there like this. Sorry, probably won't be much more light than this. But, got my beer from the store. Quietly. Oh, that was not quietly. It was not quietly at all. But, let's launch it again. Okay, bring you back in a bit. Okay, it's about time to get in this bivy. It's about 10 o'clock and I'm going to crawl in here and get comfy. Okay, it is bedtime. So good night and I will see you in the morning. Good morning. It's about 6.30. It's not a very good night's sleep. So much traffic, so loud. But, uh, it's time to get up and get moving and packed up before this rain comes in. For breakfast, I'm just eating some brown sugar cinnamon Pop-Tarts. And I'm drinking some Black Rifle Espresso Mocha. It's pretty good. It is about 7 a.m. The rain is supposed to come in between 8 and 9. So I have plenty of time to finish this up finish packing up and then roll out I really, need, I really need to figure out how to disable that beeper before I do these There we go. <clears throat> All packed away. It's like I was never here. No trace. So the only thing left to do is roll out. Okay, so there's not a whole lot of traffic in and out of the college yet, so I'm just gonna I'm just going out. And I'm out. Now I'm just walking around enjoying the scenery. That's all.
That's all. Well, that was it. That was home. Road there. Intersection there. Right up in there. So if you're still here, you know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Helps the channel a lot. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.